Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great. And we, my friends, are playing more Star Wars. Now, I hope that everyone is enjoying this series. Please show some support and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And we're going to get on with it, boys and girls. Now, we are going to start off with opening up some of the card packs that we've got. Which is pretty cool. Um, we've got some three ones. We've got quite a lot of three ones actually. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open. It's two thousand for ten. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly open up all ten, uh, all ten of them, um, all three of them. But we are going to sell these because there was absolutely nothing in there. The uh, you've got to remember, guys, be careful because if you do get three star cards. Excuse me. If you do get three star cards, some of them are very useful. Um, so you've got to be careful to make sure that you're not going and selling some of the very, very good three star cards. Like, um, for example, Mass, Loot Do, Leia, uh, Padme. Um, I think his name is like Bale or Bell or something like that. Um, there's some very good three star cards that like really give a huge buff to some of the cards in your team so you need to sort of make sure that you're not selling those particular three star cards um, but uh, besides that you pretty much just sell them they're pretty much just free credits those cards Occasionally you'll get a good 4 star and you'll get a good 5 star. But as you can see here boys and girls, we have got a couple of things right here. We have got a gold card pack side selected boosted by 5. So we're going to select the dark side here and hopefully we're going to be able to get a 5 star dark side card which would be pretty cool. But, I don't know, we never know, we never know until it comes to this out, well it's a 4 star card and it is a scout trooper speeder bike which is absolutely useless for me. But we have a platinum card as well which we also got from the event which is a guaranteed 4 star card, it is side selected again so again we're going to go for the dark side and hopefully we're going to get a 5 star card, platinum cards give you a guaranteed four star card but potentially five star card it's given us a four star grand moff Tarkin. again not a very good card very easy to get but not too bad either because it gives all defense up on a small basis so again it's a personally i think grand moff Tarkin four star is a fairly good uh support card because of the fact that he gives all defense up um, you've got to remember guys just having all power isn't going to help you win the game you've got to have those strategically placed uh, skill cards as well so as you can see here we have completed the whole entire thing for that very last one we went and got that triple boosted one that you saw um, so the event is over but what I'm going to show you guys Something that I do on a regular basis because he's always looked for. He's a very, very, um, let's say commonly searched card. Um, I didn't mean to go in here. Um, and that is the four star Luke Skywalker pilot. Now, the reason why he is so commonly searched for is because he's the top card for the x-wing so if you go into the endor uh, map quest thing you can go into the second game here for luke skywalker now entering the map is because it's a very early map it only costs you eight ep to join this map now i'm going to show you also why i do this i do it because of the fact of it's very quick and easy to do so obviously you go here which is one battle which I think is something like four moves okay and then what you do is you come down here and if you go down this direction here you have a uh, a guy that's there an ally 
you can say. So if you reveal, as you can see here, you've got two chests because the containers or the chests are lighted in yellow. And then you've got the boss battle at the very end. So if you go this way as well, you get one chest there. You get a second battle here. So you've had two battles, one chest. Okay, and then however many moves you've made. So then if you go this way and you go up here. Now, you've got the choice. You can either go straight to the end and fight Luke Skywalker. Or you can go and pick up the chest as well and do this and do that. Now, if you take, if you do it the way that I'm doing it, or the way that I do it, um, you guarantee yourself three chests. Now, I do this on here because of the fact of you can get those holocorns or what however you pronounce that um, and obviously the more chests that you get the more possibility you're able to do it and it's so quick as you can see here you can go in again in, unless of course your phone or your iPad whatever you're playing on doesn't want to do it so as you can see we had full elixir and that just cost us 31 elixir to go and do that with a total of what a minute so like one minute two battles two containers and then the boss battle so three battles two containers and about a minute of your time so in terms of how quick you can complete a map to get XP a potentially good four star card and then however lucky you get out of your containers um, I think is the best value for EP outside of events as you can see there we've managed to get a silver one there so we got 200 AP 600 uh, 6,000 credits and an 8080 piece for um, so again nothing too spectacular but we've done that twice and the video's not even like what five minutes old um, or well the actual video might be but the two events isn't so you could see there I could probably do that another two times now the reason why I say that this is the best possible um, of all of them to go for unless of course you're going for something specific um, one of the best ones that you could actually do would be if you actually go down to like the final zone um, you can try and get this Darth Sidious um, which is a very good card because of the fact of a lot of dark teams like to use him until they can get good defensive four star cards um, and this, may, uh, this Mace Windu he's also a very good one to go for because he's a very good card for the light side the Dooku is a uh, amazingly good card to go for because of obviously his skill upgrading short uh, Sith attack so he's a very good card to try and get but again it costs 19 XP or EP to go into this battle it's a bigger map and you can't get as many chests and also the Yoda is an amazing card to go for because he upgrades defense for uh, Jedi's um, but I'll show you the difference for example so if you go into here like this has just cost me 21 EP to go into here so in 10 EP I've already used the same amount of elixir as it would have cost me to go into or to complete the other one um, so that's what four five six so in six moves, I've got one battle, um, and I'm already like five points away from the exact same. So, okay, so by the time you pick up one chest, the uh, Luke Skywalker ma map would have already been completed with the same amount of elixir usage, um, and we found one chest. So, if we move up here... Okay, so there's General Grievous. So if we go here, we can find out where everything is on the map. So in future, we can see what the best route of um, 
attack would be. So going the way that we went is actually the best way to go because we come. It started off on the blue, we moved up and we went right and we got a chest. So that's one chest there down in the bottom right hand corner. We've got a chest right next to us and a chest in front. So by going this way here, that's now two chests. We know there's one here because of the map. So that's three chests and there's the boss battle. So that's just cost us what? Um, I want to say about 50 EP. The only good thing about obviously fighting on the higher leveled maps is the rewards are slightly higher so you actually get a little bit more of the polycorns that you need to awaken uh, to awaken cards but if you're not really in need of awakening cards and you're kind of a lot like sort of lower level and you're or just trying to get some new some more cards in fact um, I would personally stick with just going into Endor and spamming the Luke Skywalker card because the possibility of getting the Yoda is the exact same percentile as it would be for getting Luke Skywalker. The only difference is the time difference is slightly higher and the reward isn't really any better. Um, because you're fighting in a higher ranked map, you're when you win a battle you do receive more credits but then at the same time the the way you with how quick you get credits in this game it's really not that worth needing to play the higher level maps in my opinion if you've completed the maps um, and you've already received the reward for doing it then it's fine so as you can see that is the low map which took us half the time as it did to get the reward from the first one but as you did see at the end there the rewards from the containers weren't nearly as good as they were fighting for the Yoda one so it's it really is down to sort of your discretion on to whether or not you kind of want to use that higher amount of elixir and get some stuff or if you're just going to sort of continue to farm the Luke Skywalker card. Now I'm not going to lie, the Skywalker card don't pop up very much. Um, I've maybe done that map say maybe 30 odd times and still got say a handful of Luke Skywalkers. Um, it really isn't that common. But then at the same time, if it keeps giving you the card on a very regular basis, then obviously the cards are going those particular cards are gonna be absolutely everywhere. Um, so they won't be as amazing as they could be. Um, but he is a very good card. All I would suggest is if you're gonna look at doing stuff, you need to sort of try and work out what cards are going to benefit people the most um, so obviously Luke Skywalker uh, X-Wing pilot is going to benefit a lot of people because of a lot of people like to use the X-Wing in uh, like ally versus ally battles um, Darth Vader 4 star Darth Vader is going to be a very good card to use because again he's one of the best for the TIE pilot, uh, or for the TIE fighter, I don't know, yeah, he's a TIE pilot, so the TIE pilot is for the, I believe, the TIE advance, I think, or he might be the TIE bomber, um, not too sure which one he is actually, um, but one of them anyway, um, you know, you've got General V's, who is, who is the best pilot for the Blizzard, um, Han Solo who is the X-Wing also Chewie is good for the X-Wing as well so these particular four star cards you kind of need to watch out for and see what the best possible plan of action is um, because obviously if you have them leveled up you can do some really good stuff 
with them you can trade them on for much better cards people are always looking for them cards because they know that they are good for trading on and stuff like that so you've kind of just got to watch out um now this guy here you can clearly see he's got six there he probably had the juggernaut in front of that row he's using a shield because he sucks but he's his particular build setup is the juggernaut there and you can see that he must have lost his last battle because of the fact that he doesn't have that juggernaut there and he's not replaced it yet so let's go ahead and play again see if we can go and get a couple of wins now i'm gonna play this one i wouldn't recommend with my with this deck if anybody is copying this deck i wouldn't recommend actually fighting this guy um but i want to show you how the difference now this obi-wan kenobi is the obi-wan kenobi that i've told you about in previous videos that has the blaster reflect skill um there's a couple of four stars that have the same skill but obviously it doesn't reflect for as much damage as the obi-wan kenobi or the Darth Vader Cloudy City does um, so obviously it's the same skill just on a lower scale but if you watch this skill depending on if he actually reflects the shot or not will show you how much damage he does back now um, unfortunately he didn't def or should I say fortunately he didn't reflect the skill so his skill level is probably not that high because the higher the skill level of the card the more possibility he's got of actually reflecting the shot as well um so unless it's not that one it might not have been that one i'm pretty sure that that was the card that i'm thinking of if i'm wrong then tell me down below but i'm pretty sure i'm not um so let's just go ahead and fight one more time and see if we can get one more blueprint piece because we're still trying to focus on getting all of the max ships um, because it's, it's something that I've never done I've only really focused on getting max ships of particular ones that I've wanted to go for um, so if I can get the max ships on everything that's going to be great and then we'll probably just start doing normal battles and trying to push for good rewards and stuff like that. So as you can see, these these decks aren't really much to fight against for myself. Um, so we're doing pretty good. Now, we did get promoted again, guys. I don't know if you've actually noticed, um, but we did move back up in the battle ranks. Um, if I go to here, go to battle rankings... Um, and we can have a look-see, um, okay, it's not battle rankings, uh, it must be, well, if we go to here, this should show me what I want to see, yeah, so, as you can see here, we're back up to the three stars, back to class 10, um, whereas our top class is actually class 11, that's the best we've ever got up to, um, we've got six victory points. Our first one was against a class 11, which we lost. Then we went up against a class 12, which we lost. And then we won, we lost, we've won. Um, so we've got two battles left and we're currently ranked sixth. So I think we might sort of hold our rank in this one. We might not. Um, let's see group ranking. Um, so the top two are going to go through so we're definitely not going to be promoted up um, and we're just in or should I say just outside being ranked down so hopefully we're going to be able to stay up in that rank but our team's not fully set up yet most people up in this stage have been playing a lot longer than I have um and also you've got to remember I took a break from the game as well. Um, but we're doing really good guys. We need to get that middle row. But we need to obviously get cards uh, cards from that. And see what happens. Once we can 
that's what we're going to be doing so i really hope you've enjoyed this video guys if you have and you're still here please 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 make sure you hit that like and subscribe for me and show some support for the channel and i should see you in the next one peace on the streets